Good evening and welcome to my laboratory. This is Lissajou or Bowditch figures with four oscillators starring the Tektronix RM503 precision low frequency oscilloscope which will be used in XY mode and the oscillators are the Dumont type 347 sine wave oscillator the general radio 1310B sine wave oscillator the working back in the shadows the WaveTech Model 3 voltage controlled oscillator also set to produce sine waves and the trusty reliable interstate F43 function generator also set to produce sine wave outputs and I'll be varying frequencies and amplitudes during the demonstration and we'll be looking at the display on the RM503 now the RM503 is a classic oscilloscope and unlike some other oscilloscopes that you might find, especially today, the RM503 has an XY mode that's easily accessible and it uses identical vertical and horizontal amplifiers in the XY mode. And what we're doing is we're we're using the unique feature of the RM503 which has positive and negative inputs to each of the amplifiers so we'll be feeding one oscillator into the positive input of the vertical channel that's the um, let's see okay the positive input of the vertical channel gets the WaveTech Mark III the negative input of the vertical channel gets the Dumont uh, type 347 oscillator. Um, the positive input of the horizontal channel is coming from the interstate F43 and the negative input of the horizontal channel is coming from the Genrad 1310B. Alright. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just, uh, I'm going to just, just show the two oscillators by grounding those two channels, okay. So what we have here, that's just the output of the WaveTech and the GenRad. And I can tell from looking at the figure that the relationships of the wave is uh, two to one frequencies, okay. And so now what I'm going to do is just zoom, uh, just, uh, wait, I'm sorry, I'll turn on the um, third oscillator and then the fourth oscillator. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and uh, I suggest that you just uh, sit back and watch the show. And I'll be just varying some uh, frequencies and amplitudes as we go along here. This is varying the amplitude of the Dumont oscillator which is the negative input to the vertical channel. I'm just going to play with the Dumont for a little while here. So now I'm going to vary the frequency of the Dumont. And I'll just sort of pause it to various locations here so you can enjoy the view. I'm making just very small changes in the frequency of the Dumont oscillator. 
And with these four oscillators going, one of the things that really impresses me is the organicity of the patterns. Uh, the way they move, the way they look, um, they look very organic to me. They move like living creatures and they have uh, body forms or plan forms that are uh, very organic. This is a house fly, isn't it? And then you also get these really neat sort of quasi-periodic, almost random looking closed curves that dance and flutter. It can be very hypnotic. The figures have uh, three-dimensionality to them and sometimes they appear to rotate in one direction or rotate the other and in fact they'll even switch directions sometimes while you're watching. Still just varying the frequency on the Dumont. And you can see that we go through these uh, sort of nodes where you get patterns that are not so chaotic and from instance to instance they look similar but they're actually different There are beetle heads in there, there are fish, there are butterflies, rotating crowns, rocket ships, body structures, knotty bits. Okay, here I'm going to make an abrupt frequency step with the Dumont. We just increased the frequency by a factor of 10. And as you can see now, what you get is sort of a thickening of the main pattern with the Dumont's oscillations overlaid upon that. Forests of trees and little gnomes and ribbons, cir circul circulating ribbons. Very nice three-dimensionality there. Now what I'm going to do is just leave the Dumont alone and I'm going to vary the frequency of the Genrad oscillator. That's the other oscillator on the horizontal side.
it's a beautifully three-dimensional figure there. Looks like it's rotating in space. But which direction is it rotating? Counterclockwise, as seen from above, or clockwise, as seen from above? Whoops. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go back to varying the Dumont again. Make an abrupt frequency slip on it. I don't know if the color of this phosphor is coming through, but it's a lovely blue-green phosphor, and then the radical illuminator is, is orange. It's a, It looks pretty neat. It's nice. Get yourself all tied in knots there. This is something swimming through the water. Now I'm going to vary the wave text frequency. And now back to the Dumont. Varying the genrad a little bit. Let's see, where are we? Maybe. Getting some pretty complicated relationships in there.
for gymnopédie. Varying the wave tech. Thanks for watching.